Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. Now, not in high amounts or in high quality either, but it's going to be low concentration, but it's going to be super simple, super easy, that type of thing. So, the chemical reaction is, so chlorine gas, so 2 chlorine gas, plus H2O molecule then reacts and you get hydrochlorous acid or CHClO so a hydrogen, a chlorine and an oxygen atom plus HCl which is also hydrochloric acid okay so how are we gonna make this reaction happen so the way we're going to be doing it is through electrolysis of sodium chloride or table salt. Now I'm going to use iodized. I don't think it really matters. Um, so yeah, we're going to use salt and we're going to electrolyze it. And uh, so basically it's going to break down this guy. And it's going to create um, chlorine gas. And it, we're going to get that through this guy. And then it's going to go over, and it's going to go bubble, bubble, bubble into our bubbler. And then when we're done with that for about maybe an hour and a half or something, um, I'll test the results. Now time to set up everything. So, we take our 20 grams of salt. Now, I didn't do any uh, stoichiometry, but uh, you can if you want but you really don't need to right now. Okay, there's 20 grams of sodium chloride, and now we're gonna take 300 milliliters of H2O. There you go. So as you can see, it's quite marker. Mar ah, blah, blah. Uh, it's quite cloudy, and uh, so let's stir it up. Attempt to clear it, or rather to let the molecules get dissolved into water. Now you can either solve this by putting in more water, or if you've already reached the maximum, then you have to stir um, add more water, but if you haven't reached the maximum um, solubility, then you can just stir it around. Okay, I think that should be clear enough. It looks like everything is dissolved, or at least dissolved well enough. Okay, and then we want to add our uh, system of electrodes. So we just have two, per two copper pipes with reasonable... Um, surface area, and then they just come up, and it's just a tube. Okay, so now we're going to screw this on, like so. Make sure it's tight. And now this will also eliminate um, chlorine gas from coming into your basement or wherever you're doing this reaction, so that is always appreciated. So as you can see, it's uh, the liquid is already getting clear of the solution, and uh, that's a good thing. Now I'm just going to fill this Erlenmeyer flask to uh, 150 milliliters. Okay, is that 150 milliliters? I mean, uh, 125 milliliters, and we're going to put the bubbler inside of it like so, as you can see, and then we're, I'm going to hook up this guy, and uh, it's a half amp, I mean half watt, and uh, it's nine volts, and I'm going to have that going for maybe an hour and a half. Anyway guys, I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so I'm doing the time lapse, see? And uh, I just came down here to uh, 
plug in the battery to the phone. And as you can see, the solution has turned very orange. But as you can also see, there's uh, chlorine gas coming through, which is great. So yeah, it's uh, been a couple hours, and uh, we'll definitely leave it for a couple hours. It looks like our electrolysis has finished. It really hasn't. Uh, my electrodes have. Uh, so, they started to short out on this guy. And uh, it melted the glue. So, and then this was making contact, making it a short circuit. And uh, it, it just turned it into a giant heater. And that is the opposite. Wanted. Okay. Well, uh, definitely see that, uh, we did stuff to it and we definitely got bubbles. So, uh, so I think we're all done. With it. test. We're going to take a plate, as you can see. It's a normal stock. And we're going to put some sodium carbonate on that. Um, really just to see if it did or did not create any uh, acids. I'm hoping it does uh, have a reaction. It doesn't need to be big, you just need a reaction. Okay. Just a little bit of it, so we're gonna just a tiny bit. Uh, that wasn't. Okay. And No reaction. No reaction at all. So that means um let me see what if I had more. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'll do anything. I'll uh see if I can try and concentrate it. And uh, I'll be back. So I don't think I'm going to be uh, making this concentrate, uh, con this concentrate uh, higher today. Uh, I think I'll do that maybe later. So I guess this video will be a part one and a part two video. Um, yeah, so that the second part will be um, concentrating this. And uh, I just want to do an overview of this guy. So, the reason I had to end was because this guy was starting to short circuit. It actually heated up hot enough to melt the hot glue. Um, yeah. But also, see this electrode here? Um, yeah, it kind of corroded. Just a tad bit. I haven't actually seen it um, out of this. It's still very hot from uh, the reaction. Look at that. It's just completely corroded. Right, right off there. And right there you can see where the water mark was. I mean the uh, solution mark was. And actually there's a bit of gray right there. And... Uh, it does appear to be a little bit larger, but I believe that the rest of the copper might be in here, and that's why it's orange. Well, let's see. Let's put in my tweezers. Bring it up. You can hear something. Oh, okay. So the, uh, here's the copper. 
least some of it. It is significantly thinner. Look at that. It's amazing. So it did corrode on the uh, positive electrode. So uh, definitely call that a success. Um, I'm going to be keeping this guy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it for now, but I'm going to de definitely keep it for now. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and enjoy the time lapse. See ya. Actually, before I want to show the time lapse, I want to show you that. Um, I want to show you an update on my hydrogen generator. So you can see that the tinfoil has reacted quite a lot more. And, uh, at one point, it was actually producing bubbles out of here quite faster. Um, yeah, so that's quite interesting. And I think the solution's pretty much all good now, like it's all used up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it.